We're currently at the Princess Alexandra Hospital, which is home of the Gamma Knife Centre of Queensland. Uh, this is the first public facility providing Gamma Knife services in Australia. My name's Catherine. I had an acoustic neuroma. I was one of the first patients to go through the Gamma Knife treatment. Uh, it was really exciting to be part of the first week of, of the treatment. A Gamma Knife is a highly precise machine, which is a, a non-invasive approach for treating brain tumours and other brain conditions. It's a viable alternative to open surgery for a number of conditions. Everyone was really helpful. I, I felt like I'd been told all the information I needed to know about the procedure, so I felt quite relaxed going in. For Gamma Knife, patients would typically come in the morning of. They would have a frame applied to the head, and that's essential to ensure the accuracy that this machine can deliver. I was a little bit nervous about having the frame attached, but in reality there was nothing wrong with it. It was painless. I couldn't feel it being put on at all. And there was no head being shaved like other procedures. So I was, I was quite comfortable with the frame. Once the frame is attached, there are a number of scans that are done. Uh, the patient then waits around while there's some preparation work done in designing the treatment and then the frame is attached for the treatment. Once the treatment's completed, the frame is removed and uh, the patient would then go home. So effectively a patient is here from the morning, often leaving after lunch, mid-afternoon. So this is an outpatient procedure, all done in one day. It was important for me to get home to my family. I've got a young child, so knowing that I was only out for a day and basically able to look after her again the next day did definitely help make the decision to have this procedure over other treatment options. So the Gamma Knife utilises 192 pinpoint sources of radiation. Nothing can replace the accuracy of a Gamma Knife. All of these pinpoint beams of radiation converge on this one point. It in ensures two things. Firstly, ensuring great tumour control, because we know that we are hitting the target with that degree of accuracy. It also minimises any dose to any of the surrounding normal tissue, which not only reduces potential side effects for patients, but certainly enables them to have very good quality of life immediately after this treatment. Fortunately, most people won't get a brain tumour and need either invasive surgery or gamma knife treatment. But on the off chance that they do, it's reassuring that they have access to the gamma knife here in Queensland and access to a state-of-the-art, world-class facility.